In this tutorial, we'll create a looping neon lines background inside of After Effects. Let's get started by creating a new composition. Click on this button. Let's name this render 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second. Click OK. The first thing we need to create is a background. So right click new solid. And let's name this BG for background. Then right click again, new solid. And this time let's name this stars and also set the color to white. Now at this point, we can start applying effects. Go to Effects and Preset tab and search for Starburst CC Starburst. Apply this to the Stars Solid layer. You'll see we're getting stars, so we need to adjust a couple of settings here in Effects Control. First, let's set scatter to 300 so the stars are more scattered. The grid spacing set it to 8 so the stars are more spread out. And also set size to something 75. And let's preview. That's what we have. Stars coming at us. The next effect we'll need is CC Light Burst, search for that and apply this to the stars layer. And now we'll see that we're getting these rays that are facing us and we don't want that, we want them to face away from us. So that, for that we'll need to change the ray length to a negative value, something like one, minus 150 and you can see that the rays are facing away from us. And that's the effect we're going for. Keep in mind that this effect can get really heavy so you might want to lower the resolution to half a third. You can also set the color here by checking the box set color and then go to the color and choose any color that you like. So I'm going to choose this light blue color and click OK here. And if we preview this at the moment, you'll see that our rays are really pale and we barely see them. So we need to brighten them up and bring them to, to life. So for that, go to effects and presets and search for choker. So matte choker. Apply this to the stars lane. And by the way, the order matters. Make sure you're following the order exactly. And for the matte choker, set the choke 1 to minus 127, that's the maximum you can go, or the minimum you can go, so all the way to the left. And also set geometric softness to, well, to your liking, but I'll set it to 2, so we better see the outlines of our rays. So we're definitely getting somewhere with this, but we need to make this scene more interesting and add more color. Select the stars layer, go to edit, and press duplicate, or you can press ctrl D as a shortcut. Make sure you're selecting the top stars layer and press R for rotation and set the rotation to 180 degrees so it's upside down. So therefore we're getting more variation. Then go to effect controls and set it to a different color. Something like nice pink or even purple would do. And also go to CC starburst options and adjust the phase as you like it. So somewhere that you get more variation and more randomness in your scene. You can also adjust the grid spacing. So it's like 10. And yeah, you can also adjust the scatter. I'll set it to 350, just something that looks more random. Yeah. If we preview this now, you'll see our scene has a lot more color, a lot more variation, and overall looks more interesting. But we still need to brighten the overall scene around the edges a bit. So for that, we'll use an adjustment layer. Right click new adjustment layer, let's call this glow. And you guessed it right, we're going to add a glow effect. So it'll be under stylized glow. Add this to the glow adjustment layer. And straight away you can see that we're getting tiny glows and yeah so we need to adjust a couple of settings of glow radius for the first glow set it to 60 that'll increase the radius and select the glow and press ctrl d to duplicate it and for the glow to really increase the glow radius some like 300 to get really wide glows and those glows really add a nice touch to our scene so at this point you want to loop this background so the way the effects work and the timing of the effects work uh, that it loops at 4 seconds exactly. So go to 4 seconds and press N to bring out the timeline endpoint. And as you can see now our background is looping perfectly without any cuts. And now let's select all the layers except the background. The right click, recompose. Let's call this animation just to know what we're dealing with. You'll see that our rays got a lot more brighter. At this point we want to add one really cool effect that will really make this scene interesting. So right click new adjustment layer and for the adjustment layer let's apply the effect called CC lens. A very cool effect. So here go to effect controls and increase the size to your liking. I'll set mine to 150. I think that looks the best. And if we preview this now you'll see our, the, the edges are getting stretched and overall that gives a lot of depth to our scene. I personally think this looks cool with this effect and if you don't like it you don't have to use it and now we have ourselves a perfectly looping neon lines background and if at any point you want to change the color you can just enter the animation precompose 
select the stars, go to effect controls and set it to a different color. So here I'm setting to a green color. Stars 2, I'm going to set it to a nice orange. And as you can see, it, go back to the render comp and it all updates with the glaze and all that. So yeah, effect can get really heavy. So again, you might want to lower the resolution. You can also add noise to the adjustment layer that will help you out with the potential color bendings that you, you might get because of the amount of glue that we have in our scene. So add the noise and set it to 10% and if, if it's too much you can drop it to something like 6% and yeah so another way to fight these uh, color bendings that you will get if you're working with 8 bits per channel. So go to project window and here where it says 8 BPC hold your alt and click on it that'll update to 16 bits per channel and eliminate all the potential color bendings that you might get on your end. And at this point our background is ready. You can go ahead, customize it, change the colors as you like. And I'm gonna thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like on this video. And once again, thank you and see you in the next one.